Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Python. Welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. Guys, thank you very, very much for the insane amount of support you showed in the first episode of the series. It is very, very much appreciated. Now, there were a couple of uh, feedback comments in the last episode that were cropping up a quite a few times, uh, one of which was to increase the game volume. I will try to make sure that's done in this episode for you guys. And the other thing was, yes, we have a repair tool, but we didn't actually repair anything. So why don't we begin by doing that? I can't believe I forgot to do this. So uh, yeah, you guys were quite right to go ahead and go on at me in the comments about it. <laughs> there we go. So let's get these up to scratch. There we go. And now we can actually make a start and get some cool things going. So. Play message. Let's do it. Okay, there's like three people speaking at the same time. What the crap? Wow. Could someone translate that into days or even years? 99,999 hours. Could you imagine actually waiting that long? Jeez, man, that's insane. But anyways, guys, like I say, thank you very much for the support in the first episode. If you guys are excited for more Subnautica to come on this channel, what you big fat thumbs up is by far the best way to let me know if you are still excited for the series and you want to continue showing your support for the channel. Now, we have things to do today, my friends. I would like to make myself an upgraded uh, O2 tank, and there is indeed an upgraded O2 tank. It requires a standard O2 tank. It requires glass and then titanium. So, we just need to go down, find ourselves some quartz, and then away we go. Now, hopefully this won't be too difficult. I imagine it's going to be in cave systems. Let's have a look around here. Uh, yep, this appears to be some sort of cave system. Yep, there's a piece of quartz right there. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's two. There's three. Uh, there's a fourth one. Uh, any more for any more? I mean, why not? Hey, look at that. There's a bunch of stuff. Silver. Gold. Hey. We're picking up all the things, man. This is cool. Hell yeah. Nice. Nice, guys. Nice. We got ourselves the things we need very, very quickly. I'm a very happy buddy about this. So, let's get up here. Gonna make ourselves the upgraded O2 tank, and then away we go with doing some more exploration. So let's grab this bad boy, and as far as I can remember, that's actually just about it, really, isn't it? So, or, well, actually, yeah, we need the glass, of course. Let's go ahead and uh, do that uh, while I accidentally turn on the freaking torch. I'm being a dumb dumb, folks. Jeez. All right, come on, man. Another piece of glass for the python either. Then we can make ourselves an upgraded O2 tank, and we'll see what we can get it up to. So, it is currently at 75. It can now go up to... Dot, dot, dot. Uh, unknown, because it's not actually on yet, because I need to grab the old one off. There you go. Uh, high capacity. Let's put that bad boy on. And... 135 oxygen. Hey, so we can stay underwater for over two minutes straight, folks. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. Right. Question. What should we make next? Silicon rubber, glass, bleach, uh, computer chip, wiring kit. Oh, that's a point. Because we have the knife now, I should be able to grab myself some table coral samples. We only need two of them. And then what we should be able to do with that is make ourselves a habitat builder. And then we can actually make ourselves our first ever base. Uh, wiring kit, computer chip, and battery. I'm pretty sure... Do we not already have a spare battery? Could have sworn we had one. Uh, well, maybe not, apparently. Alright, so we need to grab some copper ore, we need to find some various other bits and bobs, but, well, copper ore is pretty much the one we need. So, let's get back down on the water, and we're going to try and find ourselves another cave system. Uh, would this be a good place to try and find copper, like in the creep vine forests? I don't know, man, I've got bad feelings about the- oh, those guys are hostile, I don't like those. <laughs> I'm going to stay away from those guys, man. I'm going to stay away. Right, uh, Table Coral, where are you, buddy? You're like little sort of red things stuck to the edge of various rocks. Uh, there's nothing... I'm pretty sure we've just been here. Uh, Table Coral! I wouldn't mind finding some of you. Seriously, where the heck is it all? Wow, oh. I wish it would become daytime so I could actually see what the crap is going on, man. Oh, darkness in this game is quite brutal, isn't it? Okay. Well, whatever the case, it doesn't really take away from the fact that this is still, like, one of the most beautiful games out there. So, let's just continue on. Uh, nope, that's not Table Coral. Uh, good day to you, sir. I don't really need you up in here. 
Uh, let's maybe head over this way. Is there any table coal? Come on, man. There's usually loads of it around. It's like little red things sort of just shoved off the edge. Ah, here we go. That's what we're looking for. Table cobble. There we go. And, ha, give me. There you go. Right, uh, we should have two of them now. Yeah, fantastic. Right. Now then, what we need to do is we need to find some uh, various other bits and bobs. Copper is the one that is the biggie. Aha! You know what I was on about the last episode with the tunnels? This is exactly what I was referring to. You've got loads and loads of resources here. You've got quartz. You've got a bunch of outcrops here. So let's go ahead and... Uh, that's got titanium. Not exactly useful to our cause, but hey-ho! I'll take it. Uh, there's some copper. Oh, look at this. There's loads of them, man. There we go. Titanium. Copper. I wonder if it alternates between titanium and copper. I'm interested to know because so far, yep, copper, then titanium. Let me guess, this one's going to be copper? Yeah, copper. It seems to alternate between the two, doesn't it? Huh. Interesting to know. And yes, I apologize, I do still have a cold. So if I have to cut away for any reason, you'll know why. Because I have to, like, go ahead and die somewhere and, it's, and stuff. Anyways, uh, let's continue on. Oh, there's so many of these crops. Oh, jeez, I should probably get up to the surface, huh? <laughs> Two minutes on the water is great and all, but it's not unlimited, is it? It's not unlimited. Right, let's have a look at our inventory. Yeah, that's much more like it. Yeah, we've got loads of stuff, folks. Right, well, I should be able to do this thing. Make myself a habitat builder, and then what we need to do is decide on a place to set up our first ever base. I imagine we're going to have multiple bases throughout the series. I don't think it's just going to be a case of one and done. So, yeah. But anyways, uh, computer chip, we need copper wires, so that shouldn't be too difficult to get. So there we go, copper wire, and that should allow us to make the electronics kit or the, the computer chip. That's what I was all about. Uh, do we have the silver for the wiring kit? Is there any in here? Ooh, maybe not. Wow, we've got one silver. Dang it, I need to find some more. I need to go deeper underwater in order to find some. Right, uh, copper wire, don't need that. Uh, anything in here? Rebreather? Is that even useful? Conserves oxygen when diving deeper, absorbs and recycles CO2 into breathable air. Cool. I've never heard of that before, but that's kind of awesome. Okay. Yeah. All right. I need to go find some silver in which case. So we need to go deeper into the depths, don't we, guys? So, question is, where is the best place to do that? Maybe what we do is go down here. There's like a bunch of caves, but uh, the question is, how far down do they actually go? Let's go ahead and have a quick look-see, shall we? Uh, not a great deal over here. I think we've already explored this place. Maybe there's like another cave coming off here somewhere. Or maybe not. What's this? Is this silver? Ah, it's lead. Dang it! Ah, I would love some uh, silver right about now, buddy. Uh, they've got limestone outcrop. Not exactly useful. I think it's the sandstone outcrops we're looking for. Like, there's, like, different tiers of outcrops. Like, you've got the sandstone ones, which give you gold and silver and such. And then you've got the limestone ones, which give you copper and titanium, right? So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So let's head back over here. And now, we should be able to make ourselves the habitat builder. Should be able to do this. Let's turn off the torch. Let's get rid of that, in fact. And, uh, yeah, we can actually do this thing. So, uh, titanium. Oh, did I just make a mistake? Oh, I feel like I should have done that. Oh, Python, what are you doing, you blithering idiot? Uh, wiring kit. Let's do it. Let me guess. I don't have enough stuff to do this thing now. Uh, tools. Habitat builder. Where is it? Oh, we need a battery. Okay. I mean, batteries aren't that difficult to make, are they? Uh, we just need a couple of acid mushrooms. Not too difficult. Let's just head back down. Whee! Super quick trip. Let's grab you. Let's grab you. And then back up we go. Oh, man. I wish my memory was better to the point where I wouldn't have to keep going down for, like, only a few seconds at a time. But, you know, it's just a case of... It is what it is, isn't it, guys? It really, really is. So, here we go. Uh, personal tools, and there is the Habitat Builder. We can now start making bases if we so wish. Hell yeah, boys. Right, I'll tell you what we will do. We're going to take off the flashlight, and we're going to put the Habitat Builder in its place. Uh, I'm going to move everything along. The Habitat Builder could go there, and then everything should be okay. So, uh, right-click. Yeah, look at all this stuff, my friends. We can actually see what we can make here. So, we need lead. We need titanium. And, well, it's pretty much glass, lead, and titanium, isn't it? For the most part. I mean, that's pretty cool. Exterior modules. Uh, base attached air pump. 
pumps oxygen from a powered habitat to an attached pipe network. Solar panel is obviously pretty good. Uh, interior stuffs, alien containment. Uh, we've got ladders, interior modules, fabricator, radio. Basically, everything we've got in here is available. We can even have an aquarium and lockers. Oh, my God. I'm looking forward to getting into this, my friends. I really, really am. And we're going to make our first ever base in today's episode. It's going to be fantastic. I really, really do believe that. So... I'm going to put the flashlight away. Uh, is there anything else that we don't really need? Let's go and use the water because, you know, it's kind of useful. Uh, cave sulfur, titanium ingots, silicon rubber. I don't know. I don't know. What else is there that we can get? I mean, I'll take the fabricated uh, bed kit thing. Uh, electronics, wiring kit, computer chip, power cell. Okay, looking good, looking good. Lubricant, bleach. What other stuffs are there for us to make? Oh, we got a message. We got a message, guys. Here we go. What have we got? This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Okay. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Seamoth! On the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. You betcha, man! If it's to do with a Seamoth, then boy oh boy am I going to be going over to that. Right, 621 meters to go. That shouldn't be too much of a hardship with our current stuffs. Wait, was there another message? It's saying there's another message. Should we have a look at the other message as well? Why not? Okay. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, okay. Don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Fair enough. So we've got two places to explore. Our oh, life pod three is a lot closer. Should we go for life pod three first and then go from there? I mean, why not, right? Why the heck not? Wait, is my light on or off? It's off now. Okay, fantastic. Right, we're going to go to life pod number three first, and then after that, uh, we'll head towards that uh, Seamoth area. If we can get ourselves a Seamoth, that would actually be the first ever time I've made the Seamoth. So, you know, that'd be pretty cool. That would actually be pretty cool. So, here we go. Let's have a bit of a look-see around. Not too much going on, aside from... Hel oh, Jesus! Hello! Hi! Hi! I'm Python! I have a knife! I will murk you, son! Dang, come, come here! Come here, you son of a god! Get out of here! I will freaking destroy your ass! Go get out of here! Don't you fart in my face! That is disgusting, bro! Jeez, man! How disgusting! Right, see, Glyphrop, we don't need these things. We're just gonna get titanium from it, right? Oh, can we even get in here? Oh, there we go. Yeah, we can. Uh, we've got a data box. Ooh! New blueprint, we just unlocked the compass. Got a PDA. Is there anything else in here? Integrating new PDA data. Cool. So that's pretty much it. That's all we needed to do. That was pretty simple, wasn't it? <laughs> so we now have the ability to make a compass if we so wish. But I think the next thing we're going to do is explore life pod 17, which is what that cafeteria guy was on about. And, uh, well, stranded near a cave system and under attack. So there's going to be hostiles around there, I imagine. What kind of hostiles? The nature of the hostiles? I'm not entirely sure. So all we got to do is get over there, find out, see what the hell's going on, and uh, hopefully see if we can get some goodies out of it. You know, get ourselves some uh, Seamoth blueprints. That would be fantastic. That really, really would. Like I said, I've never actually made the Seamoth. I think I've had a couple of the fragments before, but I've never actually had all of them, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember. Is it like three fragments you need to find? I seem to remember that was the case. Right, but here we go, my friends. Getting into deeper waters. Oh, boy. All right, here we go, my friends. Huh, what kind of biome is this? Looks pretty cool, actually. Cool. Hey, Seymour Fragment. There we go. There's one of them. Brilliant. All right. What's that going to give us? Yeah, there's three fragments. Okay, so logic would say that the other two are somewhere around here. Oh, hello. Is that one? Bioreactor fragment? Okay, that's not a Seamoth fragment, but hey-ho, I'll take it. Why not? Uh... Oh, isn't that the Reaver? Isn't that what they're called, the Reaver? I feel like it is. Right, let's, go, let's grab that PDA. Is there anything else here? Doesn't look like it. 
I mean, like I say, all we can do is have a bit of a look around. Hopefully, we can find the other Seamoth fragments. And then from there, we can go for the next objective. Oh, is that another one? I think it might be, guys. All right, let's get over to it. Yeah. It is. Okay. Our second out of three Seamoth fragments. Brilliant. Right, we need one more. Uh, Sawpile, why not? Uh, there's like a whole wreckage over there. Wow. Okay. Right, question is, where is the last Seamoth fragment? If we can find it, then we are in business, boys. We really, really are. Right, I'm having a bit of a look around. Not seeing anything currently. I mean, I don't think it would be too hard to spot from a distance, right? Is that it? Passing 100 meters. What is that? Oh, there it is! Do we have time? Can we grab this thing and then get out? I hope so. We're 100 meters down. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, let's get up, guys. We're going to get up. We've got the Seamoth freaking blueprint, boys. Hell yeah! Now, the good thing about that is I believe the Seamoth gives you air underwater like it's an entire pod. So that's pretty cool. And these Reaver things, if I correctly remember, I think that's what they're called. These have got entire ecosystems on their back. Look, there's three of them in one go. That's kind of cool. Hey, I wonder if there's any, like, goodies on here. Uh, what's that? What is that? Break Barnacle? Wait, what? What are you? Coral Shell Plate? Barnacle? Oh, hey! Hi! Hi! What is that? Oh, he does actually drop stuff then. Hello! 30 seconds. Hey, that's cool! <laughs> oh, mate, this is brilliant. All right, guys, let us go ahead. Hang on, let's stay at the surface if we can. And I'm going to have a look at the blueprint for the Seamoth. I wish there was a search function in this. I think that'd be fantastic. Uh, let's have a look, though. So, transport. Is there, like, a transport? Rebreather? Tools? Nah, it'll be further down, isn't it? Machines? Ah, here we go. Mobile vehicle based Seamoth. So we need titanium ingot, a power cell. We need two bits of glass, lubricant, and lead. All of that is pretty easy to get, right? So glass, we're going to need some quartz. For the power cell, we need... Where's the power cell? Power cell, power cell, power cell. I've seen that around. Uh, two batteries and then silicon rubber. We got all of that stuff. So that's actually pretty darn easy. And then, of course, lubricant is just gotten from the creepvine forests. Are they not? So, yeah. Not bad. We should be able to do this in today's episode, my friend. So, a bit of a change of episode plan, huh? I was going to make a base, but I think that's going to wait until the next episode. So, I guess on that same front, you guys can go ahead and suggest where you think I should set up a base in the comments area below. And I will go ahead and I will set up a base wherever the most popular comment is. So, if you guys see a comment, which is good, then just give it a thumbs up. It would be the best way to let me know uh, whether a good place for setting up a base is, so, yeah. Alrighty. Aha! Oh, okay, so we just hit the creep vine forests. Brilliant. Uh, creep vine. There we go. Uh, in fact, no, I think it's these things we need, isn't it? Ah, oh, dang it. How many do we have? Two. Okay. Uh, that should be enough, I think. Cool. Mate, I'm gonna make the sea moth for the very first time. I've never made this. I'm genuinely excited, guys. I really am. Okay. Yeah, things are looking good. Right, if we could find that tunnel where all of that quartz was, that would be amazing. Like, I would be very, very happy with that. So, are we going to be lucky enough to find it again? I mean, it shouldn't be that difficult. It really shouldn't be. It was pretty large, wasn't it? Right, I'll tell you what. Let's have a bit of a roam around. Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> well, I was about to try and cut away and find it, but uh, I don't think we need to, guys. I don't think we need to. So, here we go. There's one, there's two, uh, there's three, and we need to get rid of something real quick. Ah, oh, crap, a uh, nutrient block, let's eat it, there we go. And then we can take that, and then we can get back to base, we can get all the stuff up and running, and then we can get ourselves a Seamoth for the very first time in my personal history of playing Subnautica. Not even in the pre-releases or in Alpha or Beta stage was I able to make a Seamoth, so, like I said, I'm very excited, I really, really am. <laughs> Oh, man. I know all of you advanced players will be like, really? He's only now making his Seamoth? What a freaking noob. But I'm happy. I'm genuinely happy. Right. So, lubricant was on the list of things we needed to make, right? So, let's grab ourselves a couple bits of that. Survivor, you have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Really? Your routine for uniform ah! 
<laughs> As if it wouldn't be. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Right, we need to head down and grab ourselves some more of those little acid mushroom things. Uh, a few more of these. Uh, one, two, three, four. That's all we need. And then we can make ourselves the batteries, get the power cell going, and then away we go, folks. I'm really, really excited. Let's do this thing. So, fabricator, battery. Let's grab two of these bad boys. Heck to the air, boys. Right, and now we should have the ability to make the power cell. There it is. Do we have the ability to do this thing now? Deployables? Seamoth. Wait, do we need the vehicle bay? Oh, crap. I don't think we can make it until we get the vehicle bay. Oh, no. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look. Let's go back down. Seamoth. Oh, I've got everything I need. I just need the vehicle bay. Oh, damn it. So where do you find the vehicle bay fragments, then? That is the question, isn't it? I have no idea. Oh, it's so annoying. Everything's green now. I could make it, but I can't because I don't think I've got the crafting station for it. Oh, that's such a bummer. That's such a bummer. Oh, jeez, man. Any messages over here? Nope. Oh, this is a sad day. This is a sad day. I really wish I could make the freaking Seamoth back. That would be fantastic. Ah, so annoying. Oh, well. Maybe we'll find out how to do that uh, very, very shortly. Here. But what I will do is put away the stuff that we don't need. So, oh, there we go. So, we've just got ourselves another communicator thing coming. Uh, power cell? What was the other thing? Ah, lubricant. Let's put the lubricant away. So, all of the stuff we have in here should be enough to make ourselves the uh, Seamoth. So, let's play this message. Let's see what happens. Pod six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. Passenger on board? We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Oh dear. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Oh dear. Right. Is there like a rad suit that I can get? Rad suit, rad suit. I feel like there should be a radiation suit. Huh. Okay. Propulsion cannon. Survival knife. Maybe there's something I need to unlock first before I get to that point. I'm not entirely sure. But, oh, it's night time again. Fantastic. Dude, I can't get over how amazing those planets look. They look really, really cool to me. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so, guys. Uh, where is it? Wait, where is it? I don't see the... I'm very confused. Beacon manager? Life pod? We've already explored these, so I'm not entirely sure. Huh. There's no thing. Interesting. Okay. Well, whatever the case may be, ladies and gentlemen, I think on that note, we're going to go ahead and end the episode there. We have not done bad in today's episode. We've got the materials needed to make the Seamoth. We just need the mobile vehicle bay. So if you guys know where to find the fragments for the mobile vehicle bay, leave it in the comments area below. I'm not the most experienced person at this game, so I'm going to, you know, say that going forward. So I apologize for, you know, my lack of knowledge with certain things. But, you know, I'm having a lot of fun learning this game. I really, really am. I hope you guys are okay with it as well. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, a big fat thumbs up, as always, would be super, super appreciated. Uh, let me know where you think I should set up a base as well in the comments area below. And that'll just about wrap it up. Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future Subnautica content, folks. And that is going to do it. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you very much for your continued support. And I'll see you guys later.